Mystery mayhem. Yeah, that game I'm never going to finish. That's <laughs> why up. I started before I even met you. Really? Yeah, it's still ongoing. <laughs> what year? I started that January 2015. Wow. I... <laughs> <laughs> it's the sequel to Night of the Brides, so people are like, Fabulous Fish should play that. I'm like, okay, then I'm playing like, fuck this game. This game's stupid. That's like right before you met me. Yeah, yeah, I met you like, I met you probably before <laughs> the first episode went up, but mm -hmm. I recorded it before I met you at all. Huh. Should you like to see your Hello everyone, my name is Fabulous Fish. I'm Katatui101. And welcome back to Let's Play Picklet's Big Game. It's so been a while. Yeah, it's, uh, it's March now for us. Uh, so what today we're going to Eeyore's sleep? Dream, which was actually my favorite dream as a kid, because I really like the uh, surreal aesthetic it has here. This one is pretty cool. I remember I really liked this one when I played it. I have no idea what Eeyore said. <laughs> he's, just, <laughs> he's just grunting. <laughs> I'm sure if Piglet were here, he'd make this gray day seem a little brighter. Aww. If only Piglet were here. <laughs> just look how cool the vigils look here. I love it. Creepy. Piglet. Spooky. Hey, Piglet. Oh, hello, Roo. Do you know what's happening here? No, I'm not sure, but this place is a little scary. Everything's kind of dark. Eeyore sure seems to be sad, even for Eeyore. You're right. Maybe that's Sassy why his dream pig. is so dark. Do you think you could cheer him up, Piglet? You gotta be careful, though. There are woozles all around. Oh, God. What else? What else would there be? I know, right? All right. Well, before we start, we gotta look for cooks. Ah, uh, yeah. Good old cooks. Because that's that's what this game's actually oh, is. They could, they could be, like, anywhere, man. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, God, what is that? It's an enemy. It's like the door. It doesn't move. Should I kill it first? Uh, if you want. It's harmless. Like, watch. Just don't push any buttons. I'll stand here forever. All oh, right, I have to do this now. Oh, my God. <gasps> Ew! Well, this won't be too bad, except for the fact that the arrows on the game controller are terrible. Mm -hmm. That's like the only thing about this controller I don't like. Where? Okay, where would they be? Uh, try the, oh. <laughs> apparently in that Sweet. lamp way up there. Apparently you can, you can kick the lamp from kicking the wall underneath it. And that cookie's glitched out of existence. <laughs> don't want to accidentally go into that room. Yeah, when you played this, you played it on a PS2, which had... I mean, Nintendo's usually notorious for having good arrows, but I feel like the game controller's arrows are too small and out of the way, you know? Yeah. So that's gonna, gonna really suck. I'm just gonna try every panel on the fence. Oh yes, inside that rock. Where else would cookies be? <laughs> I love the uh, backgrounds in this level though. It, just, it honestly reminds me of Luigi's Mansion a lot. Yeah, I can see that. Like with the uh, like the dulled colors and kind of like the jaggy trees. Mm -hmm. Also reminds me a lot of uh, Scooby Doo and I've Hunted Frights. I've never played that, so <laughs> I wouldn't know. I, I mean, I'll take like, your word for it. I mean, like, it's it's a good game if you want to play it, but, like, it really doesn't appeal to people who aren't Scooby-Doo fans, you know? Oh. Like, it's a it's a solid game, though. Where are they? We might not be able to get cooking so we can go in there. Is there, like, another... Oh, is there another, uh... Yeah, down there is, like, the other half of this room. Oh, we might not be able to get okay. the cookie so we can do that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a gate there. Okay, I'm just gonna go then. Yeah, yeah, we'll come back to this room, though. We'll try the... Oh, it's like Halloween Town in here. <laughs> Halloween Town. You look out... There's no enemies here. Okay. Oh my god. These trees remind me of the... Uh... Uh, there's like a scene in one of the Winnie the Pooh specials where there's like scary trees like that. Maybe that was one of the books or something. I don't know. It's been a long time since I've seen anything Winnie the Pooh. Except for uh, The Many Adventures because that was an amazing movie. You gotta watch that one every once in a while. Yeah, and honestly, I would be willing to see the 2009 one again. It just wasn't as good as the original. Yeah, no, they had to, like, it, I mean, it felt like Winnie the Pooh, but, like, it did, I don't know. Honestly, the original uh, Many Adventure Winnie the Pooh is probably, like, in my top five Disney movies ever. That's such a good movie. Yeah. Try the lamps again. Try the lamps. Kick the wall. <laughs> yep. Well, there's the whole wall, at least, not just the lamp. That's why I kick, like, everywhere, because you never know if there's gonna be, like, one wall that has cookies You never it. know, we're gonna find cookies. <laughs> you never know where you're gonna find cookies. So, I'm actually not dying today, and it feels great. Uh, my allergy shots have been going on for a lot longer now, 
and I'm finally at the phase where I'm not suffering anymore, and it's amazing. So I tell you, if you have really bad allergies and you want to get rid of them, and you, you go for allergy shots, you're going to suffer a lot, but it's going to be worth it in the end. Oh, he doesn't have a mailbox. I was hoping he would, so he could tell your mailbox story. <laughs> Should I tell my mailbox story anyway? It's a pretty yeah. good one. Yeah, go ahead. Well, I want, when I was a kid, <laughs> I got grounded for vandalizing my neighbor's mailboxes. Weren't you like six years old? <laughs> yeah, I was really young. But my friends thought it would be funny to go around and draw cats on everybody's mailboxes with chalk. Turns out it wasn't so funny, because I got grounded. Did you try that uh, wall? Yeah, I, I tried both walls. Okay. And they didn't even get punished. Well, because that's because they had deadbeat parents. <laughs> Won't mention any names, but... They know who they are. Mm-hmm. So, of Honestly, course... I feel like they don't, but... Yeah. but So, so of course, like, me and my brother get punished, because, like, our parents actually disciplined us. Oh, there they are. Yeah. yeah, I felt bad, though. Well, I feel like... I mean, at first I didn't really know what I did wrong, because, like, kids, like, I don't know. I don't know, they probably don't... I mean, I don't think it's that bad, because chalk comes off really easy. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, it'll wash off in the rain, but I could understand why people would be pissed, because, I mean, little kids are annoying. <laughs> try uh, that ringy bell. The ringy bell? Where? Oh, try pushing the pumpkin, actually. I think there's, like, a key under the mat they use for the gate in the other room. Push it to the side, like, along the mat. Oh, oh. You haven't played this game in a while. I realize the controls probably are uh, a little foreign. Nope. Nothing. That did nothing. What's, what are these? What's that? You need a now bell for that. Looked at this rather odd object. Keep pushing that. I think you can, like, push the pumpkin off the mat. Rather odd object. No, keep, keep pushing to, like, the side or something. Oh, there's, like, nothing else? Yeah, there's, like... Oh. You, like, push off the mat because then there's, like, a key under it. It's sad that I remember all these puzzles from, like, the one time I played through this game. It's like, oh, it's a doormat. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was a piece of cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to the uh, gay in the other room now. All right. It's a, yes, that's a doormat. <laughs> oh, God. It was just the, the Heidi sequins. Those are, like, the most harmless woozles ever. Oh, my God. I was going to say, it's a small screen, so I can't, can't tell what things are. Is he in here? No, he's in the other room. I just left. He's gonna be back when you go in there. Yeah, this is probably where the uh, remaining cookies were. Oh! I've never seen anybody get that excited. Wait, go in there. Bell. Go in there. Oh right. Yeah, look for cookies. This is small. They better all be in here. Try the lamps, because apparently you just kick lamps. No. Is it in this lamp? Okay, give me that controller. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna find these cookies. How come when you go towards the back, the rain gets louder? Did you notice that? No, or is that just me? Um, I, if I were to make a guess, it's because this probably has like uh, directional sound effects, and the sound effect emitter might be down there. Oh, okay. There's like an invisible object in game that usually signify, like in some games, there's like invisible objects that the sound effects resonate from. Oh. So if I had to make a guess, that's probably why. That'd be like invisible objects down there. Mm -hmm. We tried this wall. Oh shit! I'm yeah. an idiot. Yeah, that should have been really obvious in hindsight. There we go. <laughs> All right, now you can go on. La la. So there weren't any cookies in that little room down there. No, I was a nice. fool. <laughs> and like the one person in the comments who actually is familiar with this game is probably gonna get pissed at us because <laughs> they're probably better at this game than we are. We're not good. <laughs> yeah. I love there's a big cutscene for these guys. These are, like, the easiest enemies in the game. Because, like, they stop and wait. They stop and give you time to, like, think about where the buttons are. Alright, you got this. Oh god, I, I still don't like it, though. <laughs> well, just because you can't see them half the time. Die! Good. <laughs> I love how they freak out. These are my favorite. Oh! I Oh my god, oh my god, where is he? Oh my god, where is he? Oh my god, oh my god. You're fine, <laughs> baby. This is why we need to let's play an actual horror game. I mean, I, I will argue that this game is a lot scarier than it should be. But, like, yeah. I don't know. It's more... <laughs> this game is more unsettling, you know, than, like... Because I admit, this game has a really creepy vibe to it. Yeah. Because, look at those disturbing trees. I have the bell. 
If you saw this picture out of context without Piglet in it, would you ever assume this was a Winnie the Pooh game? No. Look, look at this. The fuck? It's like, oh, that's like something out of a Dracula movie. <laughs> it's like, it's like, uh, what's that movie? That Peter Jackson movie? With that underground thing in the field? The, oh, uh, the Lovely Bones. The Lovely Bones, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that wasn't a good movie, though. <laughs> that was a movie that honestly had some good ideas and just wasn't done well. Because, like, I like the concept behind it, but it just kind of was really cheesy and kind of preachy, you know? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's just you. <laughs> just a couple half lumps. Half of lumps. <laughs> Hello? So, uh, by the time this is going up, I'm, sh I'm sure Lights, Camera, Pants will be done. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I'm not sure if I'm going to upload this twice a week or if I'm going to start uploading the other game we're going to record. Mm -hmm. Hopefully this break, but I don't know now because my schedule's completely fucked. That was a long walk it had to get to you. I know! I was... Like, wow, that's convenient. Well, you just trying to walk on the other half a lump. Oh. Thank God for that other half a lump. <laughs> yeah, no, he's a friendly one. He's helping me out. Oh my God, I can't see where I'm going. I love the camera angle of this room, like, visually. I hate it for a gameplay standpoint, though. This is terrible for gameplay, you know? Yeah. Turn around! But, like, honestly, this is a really cool room to look at. Turn around, bright eyes. Turn around, <laughs> turn around. There's a human skull on the ground. <laughs> wow. I love them. That's might be, perfect for this game. They might be nice. It's such a great band. I love them. It's like, they're so different from, like, the other music I listen to, because I usually listen to, like, progressive rock, but, uh, I don't know. They might be nice. are cool. Yeah. Phew. <laughs> Alright, let's do the cookies in this room. I I oh my god, I thought something really terrible was gonna happen. Because that music. I do have to say, Eeyore is a really nice house of like, haunted. I also have a question. How are there windows there for underground? <laughs> yeah, right. Oh god, this is gonna be impossible. Again, good camera angle visually. Terrible camera angle for actual gameplay. <laughs> Me and spatial awareness are not good pals. Yeah, I've noticed that on top of... On top of the terrible camera angle, you're usually just not good at navigating in 3D space. Try the suits of armor. getting better, right? <laughs> no, I meant what you are. But it doesn't help the fact that most of the difficult games you played were side-scrollers. Yeah. Like, uh, for anyone who hasn't played Yoshi's Island, it's not too hard until you're trying to 100% the game. Then it's impossible. I got, like, I did pretty well. Like, I almost 100%ed it. Mm, no, you, not really. You but... got a perfect score in, like, half the levels, I thought. I perfect scored Worlds 1, 2, and 4, maybe? Yeah, I think it was 1, 2, and 4. I think you couldn't do 3 because of the uh, Piranha Plant boss or something. Yeah. Or, or the level more Monkey Madness, because that one sucks. Oh, God, that one sucks. You can tell from the title that's going to suck. Monkeys, yeah. Monkeys, that game are brutal. Try the other suit of armor. I did. No, I think, yeah, I think you didn't hit it, though, because I'm sure there's cookies in it. But I saw them fall out of its head. No, you fell out of that one, not not the one on the right. Oh, I thought I... Hmm, okay. I'll, no, try, I'll try it again. I'm pretty sure you didn't get the one from the right. I don't know. Just just ease my uh, anxiety. <laughs> that's a nice chandelier up there. Yeah. Because of the fact that's terrifying, this looks is, like bones. This is his house. Well, in his dream. In his dream. He dreams about having a nice life. Oh. Yeah, I, don't, I think you got that one. Man, they're bouncing like sky high. I feel like that's a song too. <laughs> bouncing sky high. No, like sky high. I'm pretty <laughs> sure that's a song, isn't that? Maybe. I don't know. I can't see where they're going. <laughs> this beautiful camera angle. <laughs> this episode episode should be called like Katie sucks at picking up cookies. <laughs> Katie sucks at picking up cookies. It's kind of a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, you missed the last one from that. Oh. I was, uh, playing Next Teens Unite with, uh, Thomas, um, oh, wait. Oh, on Saturday. So, like, Thomas from, uh, Lights, Camera, Pants, Let's Play. I was playing Next Teens Unite with him because he was curious to know what that game was like. Nah, you got these. And, uh, whew, it's crazy to see how much better these graphics are than Next Teens <laughs> yeah. Unite. <laughs> yeah, right. Because Next Teens Unite is one of the most unappealing games visually I've ever seen in my life. You know, it's That's just, it's true. just ugly. That's true. Jimmy Neutron's high face. Gotta love Jimbo. 
I like how Try these cookies up. are in the candles. They're fire cookies. Well, they're being baked. <laughs> With a single flame. That's all you need. If you, if you wait long enough, it'll bake them. There's still more in here. I think they're in every candle. Every candle? Oh, look, the camera's normal. What? Not used to this. <laughs> I was drawing a picture last night, and uh, my mouse, like, the, the usual wireless mouse that I use is awful. So, um, I borrowed my brother's to finish my picture, and I wasn't used to how good it was. Like, <laughs> like, I, like I mean, I say that as a joke, but it was also kind of true, because I, I couldn't make straight lines, because I wasn't used to how smooth it felt. <laughs> <clears throat> That's how I feel when I went from, like, uh, shitty headphones to, like, really nice headphones. I was like, oh god, I'm not used to this quality. <laughs> yeah, right? All right, well, we're going there next episode. Yay! See you all then.